everyone, I'm back and um, like I mentioned, I have a haul. This is a small haul. Um, first of all, I decided to get uh, a couple of things from Hobby Lobby um, online. So uh, I ran out of these pom-poms because I've been making those, um, my gumball machines. <laughs> so I, I decided to go get some and they were $1.99 uh, each, and I can't remember if I used a coupon. I might have. And I just went ahead. There's 24 in each, so I, I love this kind because, as you guys can see, it's it has the iridescent, um, um, what are they called, tinsel. And I have some that... Um, are like silver and I prefer these kind because it's like super white so I got those I got this huge thing <laughs> and I'm gonna try to share with you guys um, I had mentioned that I got another tiered tray and it is um, three three tiered so you have the top I'm gonna try to show you guys the medium and then the bottom and look at the design on the bottom for the base I love it and I had to assemble it myself but it was super easy to do so um, and it's pretty sturdy it's metal and um, it's already painted for you and um, I love how it looks and I didn't have a three-tiered tray so um, that was on sale I believe it was 40% off. I think I could have gotten it for 50% off because um, it looked like they had a very similar tray that was 50% off, but I didn't see it um, until after I bought this one. This one is from the their spring line. Um, I forgot what it's called, but something spring. Um, so anyway, I got that. So I still got it for a really great price. I think it was like $24 or something like that. And then um, online, um, like I mentioned, I'm getting a whiteboard, a magnetic board for my craft room. And um, it's not here yet, but um, my hubby got me this magnetic white kit. And they're basically a marker holder, an eraser, and eight white pawns. And this, you guys, works super well like it is some strong magnet so it's magnetized here and this is the you know the eraser um holder see i can't even take it out <laughs> it's so it's so cool um this is magnetic so it will just you know you can just set it on your board and uh, we got good reviews um i don't know if this is the one that opens up and it has extra magnets in it not sure but you can put your like dry erase markers in here so it fits nicely in there um, and then I guess it comes with these and I didn't even know these are super strong as well they're little um, they're just magnets which I guess my husband didn't know that I got the um, the other magnets but these are like really st super strong and you can hang something like not just your notes and stuff you can you know if you want to decorate your board you can hang a little something because they're like little knobs so that's cool so there's eight of those this was a little pricey but it works really well because my husband has one in black and he loves it so thank you hubby he got me one I think it, it was like $30 or 20 something dollars, $29. So can't wait to get my magnetic board. I'm definitely going to use that. And um, this is the company here just to let you know. And again on Amazon. And then I got this case right here. Um, from one of the vendors they have so many different cases but I just went ahead and got this one it was a good price and it was pink and I basically got it for my little mini press and fits nicely in there 
Um, I don't know if Cricut makes one. They probably do. Um, but I just got mine from Amazon because <clears throat> I didn't want to pay like a lot for it. And it's nicely lined and it's nice and sturdy and it's pink. Um, so it fits everything in there, as you can see. There's the little, um, the little nesting, um, whatever this is called, where you rest it on. So now I think I all I need is, um, I saw that Siv uses a pad, like a, like a iron board pad or mini press pad. So I, I forgot to get that, but I will be. So it's really cute. It's like a little lunchbox and it works really well so I got that and then lastly I've been a little obsessed with Ray Dunn you guys <laughs> and you guys know I'm not shopping so I mean I'm not shopping out there so I went ahead and just got this on Amazon it was too cute I couldn't help it look <laughs> it says kisses you can put like Hershey's kisses in it and the vendor um, like wrapped it really nicely. Actually, too, he wrapped it too well because it wasn't just bubble wrapped. Um, he also put, oh, which I almost cringed because I was afraid he was going to peel this off. Not that, I, you know, this is paint, I'm, I'm assuming. But anyway, they taped it all the way down here. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I had to clean it up because um, they used shipping tape. But um, anyway, they just didn't want this, I guess, the lid to come off. But it's pretty snug in there, you guys, because the lid is, um, it has this rubber um, part around it. So it fits really nicely in there. And it's huge. I didn't know it was going to be this big. I thought it was only going to be maybe eight inches. Oh my gosh, it is like super tall. Um, I added the ribbon. It did not come with the ribbon. But as you can see, it, it's, you can put pasta in here. <laughs> it is super, super tall. I thought I could put it on my tray, but there's no way this is going to fit. It is like nine and a half inches with the lid. Um, so, but I couldn't help it. It's too cute. And it is Ray Dunn, as you can see down there. Oh, I got to clean the bottom. Um. And then I decided to get another one and this one is even bigger you guys <laughs> but it was so cute I could not help it and it does say peppermint so obviously this is gonna be for Christmas and it is redone and I did pay too much for it but again it has the rubber Thing on the jig so it doesn't so it closes nicely and snug and you can put cookies in here I was thinking of just putting cookies and then Christmas time obviously I'm gonna put like some peppermint bark in there um, but it is huge and this one is even bigger width wise it's not as tall as the other one but it is like about eight inches with the lid tall Width-wise, I don't know, it's like five and a half inches. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's humongous. But obviously, yeah, I'm going to keep it in my kitchen. But um, I really wanted to get the canisters, you guys. Um, I, I didn't want it to be so big, but oh well, it is what it is. And I can understand now why I had to pay a lot for it because it's humongous. But what I was planning on doing was, um, since this side is blank... And it is Valentine's. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, put my vinyl decals on here. I'm gonna make my own vinyl decal and put it on here. And because um, I I can't find that candy, the one that says candy hearts. So I'm just gonna make my own. <laughs> I'm gonna put candy hearts on this one. So um, that that way th these two will match, and um, I can display it. And I think that's it for my haul, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!